Hope you had a wonderful Christmas and a, and a happy, happy New Year 2021. So for our Christmas 2020, we decided to book a last minute trip uh, from Costa Rica to Colorado. Yay! We went skiing and tubing. It was amazing. So on today's video, we're going to share with you our experience traveling with kids during COVID-19. So COVID-19 is definitely our main concern traveling with our kids as we didn't know what to expect when we got to the U.S. and Costa Rica. But we decided to give it a go anyway and hope for the best. And I hope you like this video. Wakey wakey! Where are we going today, guys? Wow. We can ski! <laughs> you ready? Yeah! Okay. So leaving the sunny side of Costa Rica to go to the cold weather in Colorado okay. is gonna be a shock to the kids. So we're making sure we're bringing a lot of layers and we're gonna buy them warm clothing when we go to San Jose. So the day before our flight, we drove three hours from Manuel Antonio to San Jose to stay one night at the Holiday Inn Express near the airport. Um, it's about five minutes drive to the airport. And the next morning after breakfast, the hotel shuttle bus drove us to the airport to catch our first leg of the trip from San Jose to Houston. So today we are flying San Jose to Houston, a four-hour direct flight by a United Airlines. When we got to San Juan International Airport in San Jose, it was pretty empty and there was not many people traveling anywhere during these times. After we did our self-check-in at one of the chaos, we dropped our bags, went through the security check, which was all pretty easy and really quick. So we had enough time, probably about an hour or more, to spare before our flight. We walked around the shops, which were all opened, looked at souvenirs, took photos, and the kids waited patiently till they can finally board the plane. The kids were all excited to finally sit down and relax, and we even had an entertainment on board, so they had a great time watching TV, and snacking on and flights. It's a grown up one, but always trying to watch that one because it's baby. Wearing a mask during our flight was strictly mandatory for uh, anyone who's three years and above, and we could only take it off whilst eating and drinking on the flight. Welcome to Houston. We just got in Houston, guys. Just got in Houston. And another hour and a half here. Woo. Looks like the airport is dead, guys. Ah, no one's here. Okay, I walk faster than you. <laughs> so after four hours, we finally go. made it to Houston. Welcome to Houston. The immigration queue was fast and easy that we didn't have to queue at all. After we got our luggage and we had to check it in for our next flight from Houston to Denver. Overall, it took us less than 40 minutes to queue in the immigration 
get our baggage, check it in, and pass the security checks. So we hang around the airport, had lunch, had Oliver's nap time as well, and proceeded to board our second leg of the trip from Houston to Denver. Our flight to Denver was completely packed and it's been a long and exhausting day for all of us. But luckily the kids did so great on this last flight. It's cold! Welcome to Denver! So after two and a half hours flight, we finally reached Denver Airport. From there we took an Uber to go to Winter Park, almost a two hours drive to our hotel. And the next morning we woke up to winter wonderland with freezing weather so we took the cabriolet to the base village and two very excited kids played on the snow for the very first time i hope you enjoyed that video and it gives you insights to traveling with kids and although there's a lot to consider when traveling this day, especially with kids and with rules and regulation that always keeps changing due to COVID, it's certainly not impossible. So we really enjoyed flying with United Airlines and the flight timing was perfect for us. And even though the journey was quite long and exhausting, especially in the end, we are happy to say that everything went really smooth, especially with the kids. So for our next adventure, we will talk about traveling with kids during COVID from Colorado to Costa Rica. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notifications as well and follow us in all our great adventures here in Costa Rica. Ciao!